What's the difference between streaming and downloading? Both streaming and downloading are used when accessing digital content on a network. The digital content tends to include audio files like your favorite song or a podcast you enjoy listening to, and video files like a movie or watching someone play a game online. Streaming is when you access that digital content in real time over the internet. The content is not saved to your device. With streaming, the user does not have to download the entire file to access it. Instead, the content is sent to the user's device in small chunks, which are played back in real time as they are received. Examples of streaming services include YouTube, Netflix, Spotify or Twitch. As you watch the video, your device has to get the next chunk of the audio or video file so that it can keep playing it. But sometimes if the internet is slow or busy, it can't download the next chunk fast enough and the video has to stop and wait for more to download. That's called buffering. To help with buffering, some websites will lower the resolution of the video file, which means the video may get a bit blurry. This makes it easier to stream the video without stopping it. If you have a good internet connection, however, the video will be clear and sharp. Downloading is the process of transferring digital content from the internet to a local device, such as a computer or mobile phone. With downloading, the user must wait for the entire file to be transferred before they can access it. Once the file has been downloaded, the user can access it offline without an internet connection. Downloading is often used for large files, such as software applications and games. And examples of downloading services include Apple iTunes or Steam. Here are some key differences between streaming and downloading. When it comes to speed, streaming is generally faster than downloading, as the user can start accessing the content immediately without having to wait for the entire file to download. With storage, downloading requires storage space on the user's device, whereas streaming does not. This means that streaming is often preferred for users who have limited storage space on their device. Streaming quality can be affected by factors such as internet speed and bandwidth, whereas downloaded content is generally of a higher quality and is not affected by these factors. You can access your download content when offline, whereas streaming requires an interconnection to access the content. And when downloading content, the user owns a copy of the file and can access it whenever they want. With streaming, the user does not own the content and may lose access to it if the service is discontinued or the user's subscription is cancelled. So if you have the YouTube app and you watch our videos on your device, you will mostly be streaming the videos. If you find that the video is buffering, then you can always go to the settings and change the quality of the video to a low value so that it can play without any breaks or use less data. However, if you are in a situation where you're going to be offline or if you've got load shedding, then I suggest you click on that download button. And what will happen is it will download a copy of that video to your device. And then you can go to the bottom there to the library option. And then you'll see there's an option to click on your downloads. And there you can see all the videos that are downloaded, ready for you to watch offline. And you will not be streaming these videos, but you will be watching the downloaded content. If you are using Netflix, you also tend to stream the video. However, if you are offline, you can download the content. For example, with this series, you can download the entire season, which will download all the episodes. Or you can go to individual episodes and click on that arrow over there to select individual videos to download. Once it's completed, you can go to your downloads option at the bottom of your Netflix app. And there you can see a list of all the videos that you've downloaded. You can even see the size of the storage being used for that video. And so with your device, you might not want to always keep these videos. So you can always delete the download so it's not using up space. So hopefully with this information, you will be able to not only stream our YouTube videos, but also download them and watch them, whichever is easiest for you. For more videos for you to download or stream, go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms, as well as on TikTok at Mr. Long Education, and support the channel by subscribing and sharing our videos. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.